Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Inky Swamp Boy and today I'm going to be trying the 100th page challenge which was started by The Average Artist. She's done a bunch of these so check out her channel, I've put a link down in the description. The challenge is basically to choose a book, turn to the 100th page and do an illustration based on what's going on or sort of inspired by what's happening. I don't read loads these days but I do have quite a lot of books to choose from and I ended up deciding on Good Omens. I have a lot to talk about with the book in general and the scene I drew, so let's get into the main video. First off, if you're not aware, Good Omens is a novel by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett and it's sort of mainly about an angel and a demon who are trying to stop the end of the world. That's simplifying it a lot, but yeah. There was a recent TV adaptation of it which I really enjoyed. I've tried not to lean too heavily on how the characters look in the show though, and have it as more of a book illustration. There's not too much information given about how they look in the book either, so a lot of it is just based on my imagination really. In this particular scene, a character called Anathema, who's a human, has just accidentally crashed her bike into the back of Aziraphale and Crowley's car and Aziraphale has tried to sort of subtly fix it with his angelic magic but isn't getting away with it because he's fixed it too well and made it be much better than it was before. This scene was already kind of a challenge because the whole thing is sort of centred around bikes and I find bikes very hard to draw. I think that's a common thing for a lot of artists actually. So, I'm drawing Aziraphale pushing the bike towards Anathema and having her sort of a bit confused because the bike looks totally different and she feels like maybe she hit her head when she crashed and fell into a ditch. Then I'm just drawing Crowley sort of in the background, kind of just embarrassed about the whole thing and not really wanting to get into it. The book does say that Anathema is wearing a witchy sort of cloak, but also that she's quite modern and practical so I wanted to give her a modern look with a cloak on top. I think she actually did end up looking kind of like she does in the TV show honestly, but that wasn't intentional. They did do a good job with casting though I think. I thought a lot about how I wanted Aziraphale and Crowley to look. I was inspired to base Aziraphale's clothing on a more vintage kind of old fashioned style, since I think that's very much his personality. So I gave him a kind of overcoat and scarf and wire glasses. The hair gave me more trouble because I don't think he pays a lot of attention to it but I couldn't imagine him with just a short back and sides. So I ended up defaulting to the curly classic angelic hairstyle. Crowley was a lot easier to do, mostly because he canonically cares about his appearance more and has a sort of deliberate kind of style but also because his whole aesthetic is very similar to mine. He wears a lot of black for one thing and I wear pretty much exclusively black. I think the style I put him in is based on something I kind of wish I could wear. It was very easy to imagine. I basically imagine them standing on a country road with a big hedgerow in the background, which is something I like to draw a lot. It did make the whole drawing take a lot longer because I like to draw um, details. I mean, I don't literally draw every single leaf that would be in a hedge, but I do like to draw a lot of them. So a lot of my drawings are very time consuming, but I've kind of accepted that. I actively choose to draw in loads of details. I definitely always underestimate how long a drawing takes me though. Like filming YouTube videos has been kind of useful because it's putting a time frame on it and making me realise just how long I spend on one drawing. It's fine, it's fine, it's just surprising. <laughs> when I was drawing this, I was sort of imagining it like a book illustration and wanted to really keep it in that style. A lot of my inspiration for drawing is old vintage black and white book illustrations, whether woodcuts or engravings or this kind of style, like pen and ink illustration. I feel like book illustration must be really fun, like especially when it's a full novel which only has a few pictures across a long book. Choosing which parts to illustrate and then how to do those illustrations to work in harmony with the text, that's a really cool idea to me. 
So yeah, that's my illustration for the 100th page of Good Omens. I hope you enjoyed watching this, it was a ton of fun to do and I'm happy with the illustration I came up with. I think all the characters came out pretty well, like very much had the energy of the characters in the book and were pretty close to how I imagined them. I might do more of these in the future or some other challenges around illustration or books, so if you have any ideas of challenges I could do, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye!